Are you an owner operator that operates a commercial truck in the state of California? If you are, then you've probably heard in the news recently that the Supreme Court decided to not review motion by the California Trucking Association to challenge the Solicitor General's stance on a law called AB5. And it looks like AB5 is going to stand in the state of California. And this has a big impact on owner operators. Now, any of us that work in the trucking industry, we know that owner operators and that business model working with carriers is a large part of how freight gets moved in North America. And this new law, this this law that challenges the validity of a carrier using an owner operator is a perfect example of government trying to solve one problem and causing another problem. So I believe that AB5 stemmed from a desire to limit companies' abilities to take advantage of people and uh, to ensure that those people get access to things like healthcare and other benefits that would be part of their remuneration package if they were employees. It is true that some companies have tried to get around paying people what they are owed by setting them up as contractors instead of employees. And from that perspective, that's what AB5 is trying to solve. But it had an unintended consequence that deeply affects the trucking industry. Because in the trucking industry, you can have somebody who owns their own truck, works for three or four carriers, and this person is self-employed. Now, it's true they don't own a business in the in the sense of, of owning a business where they employ other people. In the trucking industry, we need these carriers because they are the ones that aggregate the work. But we also need the owner operators because they're the ones who provide the equipment and the drivers to move that freight. If AB5 was to spread countrywide, this would have a adverse effect on the supply chain. Why should you care about this law? Because if it spreads outside of California and it looks like it's quite possible that at least three or four other states on the East Coast are going to adopt this same kind of law, if this was to spread, it's going to make it more difficult for trucking companies to move freight. And as long as there is higher demand, then there is supply in the system. Inflation will continue to grow and prices will continue to go up. So this is an issue that affects the trucking industry, but it's also an issue that potentially could affect each and every one of you. So we have to think about this carefully. If you are in opposition to this law, you need to talk to your representatives. You need to make your voice heard. Not only if you're part of the trucking industry, but also if you care about things like rising costs. The trucking industry is essential for you to get everything you need in life. So you've got to support the trucking industry. So we need people to go to their representatives and tell them how they feel about AB5. This cannot spread nationwide.